welcome to learning of GIS with Dr. Shivangi. Today in this session, we'll be learning how you can create layout on ArcGIS and how you can export your created map into JPEG, TIFF or any other printable image format. So let us quickly start with some basic map elements and then we'll be creating layouts using single and multiple data frames. Okay, before we actually move to the layout, let me tell you some basic map elements which we show on map. So a map typically includes these five elements. Map frame, which is known as data frame in our map. Title, legend, north arrow, and scale. So let us start with the very first step. We will launch ArcGIS. Now, once you launch your ArcGIS, at the bottom, you have two display buttons. The first one is your data view and the second one is your layout view. So just click on the layout view. Now this is a data frame. A map can be with single data frame or with multiple data frame. I can uh, show you some examples. For example, this is a location map, a study area of Tamil Nadu which contains two data frame. Now this is the first one with India map and in the second data frame we have highlighted our study area that is Tamil Nadu. Similarly, this is the second map which contains only one data frame, a single map. Similarly, you can use multiple data frames like 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 data frames where you have to compare the time series data you can use several data frames. It depends upon your application or what you are using for. Now how you actually add a data frame? So in order to add a data frame, you insert, you click on insert in the uh, top bar of the arc map and you find data frame here. Click on data frame. Now a new data frame is added here. There are two data frames, one this and the second one is this. Okay, now if you are using more than two data frames at a time, then it is very difficult to adjust more than two data frames in, in a smaller layout or in a portrait orientation layout. So you can change the orientation and you can increase the size of your layout as well. How can you do that? I'm going to file, click on page and print setup. A page and print setup option will allow us to change the orientation and size. Here you can see the size option and here are the orientation options, portrait and landscape. For example, I want landscape. I click on landscape and OK. So now you can see both the data frames are adjusted very easily in the orientation. Okay. So as you click on the data frame, it gets active. So if you want to add data here, you have to click on this data set and then add. Map similarly, you want to add map here. So let me change the lamp of the map. So that it can look more appealing. So we have added the map in both the data frame. Now you can also use the zoom in and the zoom out option here to fit the map in the data frame. Right? Now the second element was title. How you insert the title. Now, here is the option insert, insert title. Double click on it and you just type in the title. So, in this case, it is ecological, ecological impact map 2009. And you have this of a change symbol here. So use the change symbol button to change the text size 
you can even uh, you know set it to bold or italics if you want so here is the title for this data frame similarly you can add the title for the second data frame as well double click on it Again, change symbol, bold, okay, and then okay. So we have added the title. Now the third um, your map element was legend. So again, you go to that insert drop down menu, you will find legend here. Before you try to import the legends, make sure that which data set you are importing for so like if you have clicked this one so it will import the legend of this data data frame legend next from here you can get the name of the uh which whichever map it is for example my map is G E I R. so G E I R. Next, 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 finish. So here are the legends. Similarly, you can import the legends for this one. You know, this map is G E I I 2019. So we have imported the legends. Now the last, uh, sorry, the next uh, element was your north arrow. So all the arc maps are oriented towards north. So again, we go to the drop down menu, north arrow. So there's so many options. So you can select as per your choice. And the last one is the scale. Again, insert drop down menu and you can click on the scale bar. So as you can have so many options, you can select as per your choice. If you want to scale in miles or you want to scale in kilometers, so you can just select the scale. And resize it. So I'll select the same bar for my other data frame as well. I'll go to kilometers for this one. Okay. Okay. Again, you can resize it as per your requirement. So if you're getting the scale in decimals, then make sure that you fetch it or resize it so that it until and the values are not in the whole numbers. Now all the basic elements of the map are there. You can export the map like this. But if you want to beautify it a little more, you can add neat lines to delineate the map from the edges of the table. So again, you can insert neat line. What you can do here? You can improvise the margin of white space. You can decorate the borders. You can have color backgrounds. So again, so this is the map, final map after applying the neat lines. Now you can export your map into uh, JPEG or TIFF or any other printable uh, image format 
so that you can use it in your report so you can take it print out of the map. So how can you do that? You can go on file, export map. Here you can see the options. You can export it in any of the following options. So I'll select JPEG. Then you can select uh, a path where you want to save. And make sure that the resolution is 300 or more. 300 DPI or more. So that it's visible. Thank you.